Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzzWorld.org being the music journalism site. Links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today. And it's the latest track by Ice Cube and that's Only One Me. So I'm going to refer to the original article as I usually do for these videos. So I hope you enjoy. So Ice Cube is actually starting to get up ahead of steam now into this new album release. A release that has rap fans universally pretty darn excited. There is an obvious growing crop of old school style rappers hitting the mainstream right now such as Reggie Snow, Joey Badass and many others who are trying to reinvigorate this sound. So it's actually exciting to hear one of the originals come back and see what they can do with it. So should we see what I thought of this brand new track? Well, it's OK, but I'd say it's more of a quick, fun sort of popcorn rap track rather than actually being worth replaying over and over again. In all honesty, I am a touch disappointed. I'm going to throw that out there right now just to get that off my chest. I think his delivery is really good and it definitely carries the late sort of 90s influences close to its chest. But the lyrics are a bit iffy to me. The flow is a little bit dull and the track doesn't really go anywhere or really do anything that inspires me all too much. I think the track gets better and better with each 30 seconds or so as I feel the themes get a little stronger and are fleshed out much better. It's actually nice to hear this track unfold a little more. But I think if you take Ice Cube's sort of status and reputation away from this track, no one really bats an eye towards it, which is not something I really want to say about it. It is better than 99% of, say, mumble rappers around at the moment, which I know a lot of people seem to be comparing it to, which I don't really understand. I know it's a big thing at the moment. And it definitely has this sort of pump-up attitude, which is always exciting to hear. But it perhaps doesn't compare to a lot of the top competition around at the moment. Production wise, the track is actually really retro in my opinion, but there isn't that much to really comment on here, so I'm going to try and keep it brief. It's an entirely programmed beat using electronic horns and a trap style kit to really flesh out the stereo field. Uh, again, it's nothing to be too overwhelmed with. The beat is fine and the low end is certainly covered, there's no mistaking that, but the cymbals do sound very generic to me and a little bit cheap as well. And admittedly, I would have preferred to have heard a, you know, a bass line rather than just this looping sequence which was very much carried by the percussion in the kit uh, the kick drum in particular the horns also uh, sort of just loop for me all the way through never varying in dynamics and they are a touch plastic in my opinion if I'm totally honest it did sound like more of a, a freestyle type of uh, track generate uh, over a pre-generated beat and people will either love that approach or like for me I'll you just find it just fine when it comes to the musicality of this track, as I've said, it is a little bit underwhelming. The horns never change in dynamics, as I've already mentioned, but they also never change in the progressions either. And there isn't any decoration from verse to verse either, meaning that after the first verse anyway, you've heard all you're probably going to hear from the instrumentals, which is not a positive thing in my opinion. So with that in mind, the track entirely revolves around the vocal performance, which I think is more functional than actually awe-inspiring. There is a sincerity there and a real impact to each syllable as you'd expect from a, a rapper like Ice Cube, somebody who is seasoned when it comes to this sort of stuff. But I think the lyrics uh, kind of let this track down a little bit. And I think the rhythm of each si sort of syllable is a little plain in all honesty in comparison to the top competition as I mentioned earlier. Again, if you take Ice Cube's name away from this release, I don't personally think people will actively try and listen to it. When it comes to the lyrics on this track, thematically, the track is actually quite exciting. I also like the lines that incorporated the history of rap and where sort of Ice Cube uh, is sort of amongst all these different people. I would have liked to have heard more of that sort of experience driven stuff rather than the, you know, chest pumping spiel. I thought that was a bit generic. So all in all, the track is fine, but I can't say I will remember this by this time next week. So I gave it a G rating of 5 out of 10, which is just completely average. So if you like this video, then please leave a like, comment what you think in the comment section down below subscribe to see more and I'll see you around next time bye bye